Welcome to lockdown vlog number 78. It is a great cloudy day here in Rotterdam and as of two days ago I can call these vlogs a lockdown vlog again because as of two days ago Rotterdam, the Netherlands is back in lockdown. Yes, apparently for five weeks. For five weeks. Apparently there are still too many people that think these rules do not apply to them. So the numbers went up again and if that happens you need to do something. So this made me think of my 50 daily vlogs and I'm not going to do daily vlogs again but I did think up something else. So stay until the end where I will explain that. And actually because of the lockdown I am in my house right now I did have an appointment for today, for this moment, with one of my subscribers here in the Netherlands to be at his home filming his systems, both of his systems. Now last week we had the same appointment and then suddenly I got a call from my girlfriend because she was feeling like symptoms, so she got tested and for fortunately everything is okay, but because she when we waited for the the results that was the time that i had to decide okay am i going to a subscriber in his house now knowing that maybe if she is infected i may also have been infected so we said let's not do it let's do it a week later which is today and well today i am here and the netherlands is back in lockdown okay so well that is something that happened. Another thing that happened, a positive note, here you see my work table, is that I got a last minute job to do for this year. This is nice. And the, the thing with these jobs is that if I have a good uh, week, which is what this is going to be, I can pay my rent for the next few months. So that is important and it may bite a little bit all the promises with the promises that I did to you but you'll be getting something for me every day so that's as in, 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 in change for maybe not doing some of the uh, things that I promised and here's something that I would like to show because when I was telling about my coffee cups and filming here Somebody said, well, hey, what is that box right over there? Good question. Actually, it is just like this rack. This is also a rack and it is filled with a lot. Let me open this. So this is acoustic foam. That's one reason why I put it there and I filled up this with heavy duty this is let me take one out you may recognize this what they use in pull string in, in couches stuff like that I'm, I'm not sure but i picked up some of these let me show you on the rear you can see it is completely filled with this stuff and the reason for that this was an experiment that i did because one of the things in my system, well not in my system, because of my room, that is a big problem, is bass control. Along the way I tried all kind of different things to get a better grip. You know, the, the red cushion right over there is because of that. And this experiment is because of that. Because a base trap is nothing more than a big box with a lot of mass in there. So that's what I tried. Does it work? Well, I tried to measure it in a amateur way. And if, we, if I look at the measurements, so with all this stuff in there and without all this stuff in there, the differences are there, but they are negligible. You, it's too small to think that it does um, make a difference. But if I am sitting in my chair and listening and every now and then I take everything out for a week to see is it still working? Is it 
still what I want? Is it better? Is it not? And every time that I take it out, it feels like it is doing something. So then I put it back again. But I can't say for measurements that it works. But I once had a whole discussion, somebody saying you cannot make a base trap like that. But according to me, a base trap is nothing more than a box with a lot of mass in there to slow down the, the low frequency waves. Now, why does my uh, room have a problem? Let me, here are my notes, because there's something I'd like to show you. Um, this room, let me back up a little bit. This room, we go from one window to the other window, that length is let me see seven meters and 79 centimeters and if we look at the room from this wall to this wall it's just a little bit shorter at seven meters and 23 centimeters now why is that a problem well the length of your room corresponds with the length of a frequency wave. So if we look at these two numbers, the length from here to there corresponds to a low frequency wave of 44 Hertz. The length from there to there corresponds to a frequency wave of 44, uh, sorry, 47 Hertz. So 44 and 47, they are close by and that is a length that a uh, low frequency can start resonating that's why a square room is the worst you can get because you do not have one line that can start resonating at a certain frequency but if the other line is also freak, uh, resonating at the same frequency you can get a problem and I do have a problem so these lengths correspond to 47 Hertz and 40 four hertz close by each other and that's a resonant frequency so i'm trying to do all kind of things like this bass strap like thick curtains they don't do much but you try everything like this cushion and one of the reasons i have this couch a couch like this is because this has a lot of mass that can slow down absorb some of the low frequency energy because the low frequency energy is the most difficult one to control and if you live in a square room it is even more difficult and if the height from the floor to the ceiling is let's say half of that or if you have a very small very high room that is actually like a cube you have three lines that will have the same uh, uh, frequency resonance that's going to be a problem so that is the problem with this house i like the big room but because it's almost a square it also gives me a lot of problems so that's why that thing is there and that's what is in there one other thing and I have to read that. I did make a little note for myself. One of my comments, one of the comments that I got was from a guy, and this is on the Wilsonton R8 uh, review. And he said, and I'm sharing it with you because I do not know if it is true. And if it is true, I think it is interesting information to know. He says, if you want more bass from a tube amplifier, you need much bigger output transformers. That is what he said. The size of the Wilsonton output transformers look like they won't go much below 50 Hertz. Another reason I want to share it with you is because in all my time as an uh, audiophile, I had never heard this. So I don't know if it is true or if it's not true. So I'm asking you guys, does this make any sense? And if it does, please put it in the comments and I think that's interesting information to know if the transformers on your tube amp, now this is of course a output transformerless design, so it doesn't have transformers, but if the 
um, output transformers are of influence of how low a frequency you can play, it's, I think it's interesting to know. So that's the, not the last thing, I want two more things. One is I last week did the review of the sound artist. I got some very nice comments on them, but um, the, the sound clip, I'm not very happy with the sound clip. It was already a little bit touch and go when I uh, was editing and I thought, well, it's just good enough. But then when it goes through YouTube again, the end result, I was not very, um, not really happy with it. That sound that you hear in the review is not how this setup sounds. This, uh, this amplifier from sound artists really sounds very nice. So don't decide on the sound sample, uh, only on the sound sample. Listen to the whole review that I, that I did. Okay, to finish off, I was thinking, will I do a daily vlog because of lockdown? Well, I just don't have the time, especially now with the new work that came along. I don't have the time, but I decided to show you my CD collection, uh, tell you a little bit about it, how I, how I got to these things and maybe stories that are connected to the, to the different uh, CDs that I have. And I take it letter by letter. It's quite a big, um, it's quite a big collection. So I'm not going to do it in one time. I like looking at those videos of other people where they show their CD collection, but they are sometimes one and a half hours long. I thought, well, that's not ideal. So I do letter by letter. And today in this vlog, I will end with the letter A and then the next day B and so on and so on up until the end of this month. So that's what's going to happen. Let me say goodbye for now. And right after this will be my first part of my CD collection, the letter A. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. I decided to show you my complete CD collection. Today we start with the letter A. Going from left to right, over here we have AJ Croce. Now the way I categorize my um, CDs is I pick the first letter, the A, from AJ Croce. So this is not at the C and if this was for example the AJ Croce I also wouldn't put it on the T for the because the the would be too crowded. So AJ stands at the A. Now this is a CD that is very energetic. I like it very much. Recording quality is very good and maybe you know, maybe you don't, but if you remember uh, this guy, Jim Croce, you know, he has uh, Bad Bad Leroy Brown, for example, as one of the songs that you may know from him. This is Papa Croce, and this is Little Junior. So, A.G. Croce, and the first CD he brought out was also called A.G. Croce. Another one he brought out was That's Me in the Bar. This is very nice he plays the piano he plays it very well and because of his connections i think with his father his band is absolutely fabulous one more and as you can see signed by mr aj himself can i see when i went there no but a long time ago i went to see him live that was a very good experience so aj croach another one over here amy Mann, bachelor number two, known, the city is known for its good audiophile quality, recording quality. I picked it up one day because of that. I was one of those audiophiles back in the day. I don't really care for this music, but it's nice to have. Alanis Morissette, here's something that you probably all know and have heard. This is just nice and I picked this one up for cheap at the thrift store. Alicia Keys. Now Alicia Keys maybe has a little bit too smooth music, maybe too easy going, but her voice is wow. And a lot of artists, now not a lot of artists, some artists 
will sound live better than on the CD. I think Alicia Keys is one of those artists. And she writes her own music and she also plays her own music. I like her. Don't play her too often, but I like her. This is one I picked up from Craigslist. I didn't know anything about it, but it was cheap and it was in the neighborhood for me to pick up. And this is in the country in Western. She's Canadian, but this is like some Western music. Hey Joe. This is a very nice CD. My girlfriend absolutely loves this one. This is a girl that has a, a bit of a higher pitched voice, but the music is well very friendly. If you get a chance, make sure to listen to it at least once to see if you like it. Anastasia, back in the days when she became big, um, not that kind, I like that song and that's why I picked it up and most of the time when I pick up things I don't throw them away ever so some of these CDs are in here for maybe 20 maybe 30 uh, 30 years here's one Agnes Obel this is beautiful music beautiful recording I have the vinyl edition I went to see her live and this was absolutely amazing you should definitely listen to this one Here's the Alan Parsons project another thrift store find something to maybe lay down put on a set of headphones and, and listen to it um, but after a while it becomes a little bit too much of the same air moon safari you probably know this one also ambient music with a lot of jazzy influences this is wonderful music All Saints when this came out uh, never ever booty call those were two songs that I really really liked but this is also one from a very long time ago every now and then I like to pick out this uh, the, the recording quality is, is pretty good and it also is very big, grand and wide. So that's one that I have. This is a Dutch artist. She plays a little bit more rough music than I like. There's one song on here. Well, not on the, on the rear. There's one song in here. Everything is white as you can see. <laughs> That's called Tom Waits, and that is one that I like very much. Just for that one number, I picked up this one. Amalia Rodriguez. When I was young, I went to Portugal a lot of times. And Fado is the local music over there. And Amalia Rodriguez is the big star of Fado. So when I saw this one in the thrift store, I had to pick it up. Another Dutch woman Astrid Serize if you get a chance to listen to this one this is Astrid Serize an invitation we have seen her live a few times this is a wonderful voice and there's some very very good songs on there um, only women bleed um, I'm a stranger here myself no, yeah. This is one you have to listen to. I can understand if you don't like the music, but recording quality is very good. And I think this is very close mic'd recording. So it's really like she's th singing to you. Pick up these two from Andreas Vollenweiner. This is one of those things that you pick up in a thrift store, which is nice sometimes with a headphone and just lay back. But not too often it becomes a bit irritating to me I picked up these two now when I grew up ABBA of course was the big thing in my youth and for some time I had a girlfriend that was completely like the traditional uh, fan with every piece of her wall in her uh, bedroom covered with ABBA posters so there was a period that I was listening to this a, a lot actually very good recording quality on some of these numbers and 
well, some of the music I still like very much. Angie Stone, Black Diamond. Just nice, soulful music. Alela Diana. Now this is one of my favorites over here at the A. Um, this is something you have to hear. She did this recording herself. That's what you can hear a little bit. But you can also hear that this is people that love to make the music that they play. Over here, the best of the art of noise. I love the art of noise. I used to be, this is really headphone uh, music. Or late at night, lights out, just put on this, lay back, don't worry about imaging or, or loudspeaker placement, just enjoy it. The Art of Noise, more of The Art of Noise. Annie Lennox, Medusa, wonderful voice. Not completely my music, but the perfect voice. Alan Lomax collection. Alan Lomax was one of those guys going with a little recorder, tape recorder, out into the jungle, I would say but trying to capture all the old traditionals sung by people who were still from that period. So there's numbers here that range back to the, I believe the 20s, 30s, 50s. This music is traditionals exploring the roots of today's music. This is a very nice sampler for that series. More Art of Noise. And one of my other favorites, Annette Louisan. I've been talking about this before. This is probably for a lot of people. Her voice is a little bit too sweet. And because she sings in German, a lot of people won't get what she is singing. But I like her lyrics. I like her way of singing. And every now and then I like those little bit childish uh, voices. Just giving me a good feeling. Some more. Annette Louison, over here, Das Spiel. I remember the first time that I heard her was on the radio. I actually parked the car to listen to the song and make sure that I wrote down who is singing this. So that's Annette Lu And here we have one more with autograph because we have seen her live also. Okay, so over here I have all my plastic covers and then there is of course a lot of these cardboard covers that I keep in a different place but let's look at the A. And Dudley is one of the artists that played in the Art of Noise and much 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 later a few years ago she played that music again but where the Art of Noise is very much electronics this is on piano and I love it. We have more Annette Louison, some wonderful cardboard editions, more Annette Louison, um, what's this, oh, it's already for the next one, and we have, of course, Art Blakey, Monin, especially the number Monin, I love that number, that's a great number. So that's also in the collection. And there's one more thing that I would like to show you. Um, let's pick out this one. I've shown you the art of noise, but maybe you have seen a long time ago, they had these little red buttons that you could, could put in there. And what you do is you just push it and the CD rises so you can pick it up very easily. You just plug it in there very nicely, but they are very fragile. I have from all 30 or so that I had, maybe one or two survived, so that's a shame. But when it works, it works. And that for today concludes the A. See you tomorrow.